visiting my channel. In this video, I would like to explain you some of the uh, things that you have to be cautious about when you're looking for a property to rent in Ibiza because there are a lot of these fake ads that are circulating uh, in the most popular websites here and you have to know how to recognize them and what you can do. So let's start. The first thing that you have to be very cautious about is the price. Usually these kind of ads, the publishers, they put them on very below market price and uh, you can check this easily. Just put a filter uh, and select the same characteristics. Uh, for example, one bedroom or two bedroom flat in the center of Ibiza. And you can see what are the average prices per month for such kind of flats. If the price is below market value, then you should start uh, doubting about this uh, ad and it's... Uh, if it is really uh, a real ad. The second thing is that usually this kind of uh, people that publish uh, the ads, uh, they, uh, they don't contact you uh, by phone, they don't call you, they just write you a WhatsApp message. And if you try to contact them by phone, they don't pick up the phone. And so that is a second thing that you have to take in mind. The third thing is that once uh, they have you intrigued with the property, usually they put very nice photos. Uh, they ask you to go to another platform to uh, make a payment, usually Western Union or MoneyGram. And uh, this kind of ads, um, they ask you for some preliminary to pay in advance some amount in order to visit the flat or the house. Usually this is done for high profile properties and uh, here uh, another thing is that you have to watch out is not to give your personal details nor your ID nor your passport. You have to take these um, personal details only once you have seen the property. Another thing is that uh, the, the um, person that who publishes this property says that he is not uh, in the city and uh, asks for some amount of money so that he can send you the keys. This is a very common story that they use, uh, scenario. So don't fall in this trap and be cautious. Um, the next thing is that if you are renting a villa for holiday uh, weekly rental, then uh, the things are different. You should first check the comments of other people that have visited uh, the property. Also, you, it's better to hire a lawyer or a professional real estate agent that can revise the uh, contract for any uh, clauses uh, that are abusive. And also take in mind that uh, the expenses for water, electricity and taxes are paid by the owner. Uh, so what are the things that you can take uh, into consideration and to help you to avoid these kind of scammers? First, you can use the Google uh, search uh, images option. You can copy paste the photos of the ad and uh, this way you can see in which websites it has been published. If you're not in Ibiza, you can ask a friend who can go and visit the property and this way verify that the photos correspond to reality. Another recommended thing is that you should confirm that you're dealing with the owner by asking the title deeds that, uh, to verify that he is the owner of the property or if, uh, if there is a representative to ask for a letter of representation letter or a, a contract that um, this person is uh, connected in some way that, that uh, manages the flats of the owner. So these are the things that you have to take in mind. Also, don't, or don't um, forget that uh, personal details like passport, um, payment slips, if they, have, if they ask you for these things before visiting the flat or the property, then you should avoid sending any kind of personal information. This is usually done once you have visited the property and uh, it's not uh, common that they ask for these documents before visiting the flat. So anyway, I hope this information has been useful for you. If you would like to receive more information like that, 
please subscribe to my channel, uh, push on the bell button and this way you will be notified about future videos and thanks.